Good evening and welcome to Chicago. Uh, we took an 11 o'clock flight out of Vegas to get here and um, it was only three hours, which was great, but there is a bit of a time difference, which means it's now dark and late at night and we haven't had lunch, so we're pretty hungry and ready for dinner. So our next stop will be going out and doing exploring for some food. Um, I look pretty terrible. I've had a bit of a rough trot in the sense that uh, I had two days of vertigo, followed then by a cold, and now I still have the cold and just cannot hear. But I'm not going to let it ruin my trip. We've got things to do. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Let's enjoy Chicago. The room is a bit smaller than our Vegas one, but look at this beautiful view. We've got a water view. We get to see Donald Trump's building <laughs> because he doesn't own enough or have enough money. He needs another building. Sorry about the glare there. I'll show it to you guys in the morning, but it is looking quite pretty at night. I'm trying to scope out some food options, but I don't know that we can see anything from this island. We can fish from the bridge. I don't know that we'll do that. Position. Probably. <laughs> We're staying at the Sheraton Grand and this lobby is just like a bit gold. It's a bit fancy. We walked in here, we couldn't believe we could afford to be in a place like this. What's that smell? Oh, it smells like pot again. <laughs> That's great. We thought we'd gotten rid of that scent in. Uh, San Francisco and bloody Las Vegas. But Americans obviously love their weed. <laughs> okay, it's our first day in Chicago. We just got outside, it's minus two. The wind is so cold in my face, it's making me cry. I still can't hear or breathe. <laughs> We're doing a hop on, hop off tour today. Hopefully, holy shit, I just axed it. The water looks freezing. <laughs> Cold. It certainly is. It's not necessarily windy here, but it's just icy coming off the water. It's known as the Windy City, Chicago. Here's our view currently. That's better. Oh, icy. It's below free. So we're currently at 360 Chicago and we've had a little bit of a mishap. We're meant to come here to redeem our tickets for our Explorer Pass and basically just stuff didn't go our way and we can't get the tickets. And I think we're starting to look a little bit sad because the guys took pity on us and gave us tickets to come up to 360. So we've got at least nice views of Chicago. I don't know what we're gonna do about our Explorer Pass, but Next stop is back to our hotel to try and figure out if we can get it online and then we'll sort out the rest of our day. Just thought I'd update you guys on what's going on currently. To, to satisfy our, our sad selves, we went to Whole Foods and bought ourselves some cakes. We're regrouping at the hotel now before hopefully going back out. We're at the Field Museum, which is our next attempt at getting our tickets so fingers crossed we can get them from here come on field museum this pretty roof display the museum is so cool okay <laughs> it's about 12 o'clock and we've decided that we're restarting our day so this is take two on day one of chicago how funny would it be if it still turned out for shitty? i know that would be terrible we're just making our way down to the hop on up off bus Oh, oh, you can't really see it. There's Lake Michigan out over there. It's a nice little boat area here. It's bloody cold. Yeah, there's, a, there's Lake Michigan. You can see it now. I think Canada's on the other side of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Now we did learn that the squirrels at the Grand Canyon 
and if they bite you they either have rabies or some form of the plague so don't get too excited about them but I'm not sure about these skulls look how cute he is Taurus in action It's two o'clock here and we've just noticed that the street lights come on. I think that's a little bit of a sign for us about the, the state of darkness in this city. Prepare for the dark shortly. Beautiful outlook though. We're down the end of Navy Pier, just checking out the view from the end and then probably gonna go in and get a bite to eat. It is a good spot to go for some food. There's lots of options. and it's nice and warm inside too. Outside, not so much, but not too bad. day two in Chicago. So a little update on our situation. We just attempted to go sort out an architecture river cruise which was part of our go pass but little did we know that they don't operate during the winter time. So if you get a go pass just be mindful that some options may not be available during the winter and during the winter there's like a lot less services so maybe come in summer. It is bloody cold here during the winter time so Summer could be an option, but it is beautiful in its own right. Back in Millennium Park. No one at the Bean at the moment. Every Tom, Dick and Harry was there yesterday.
just finished up at the Art Institute, ended up spending two hours there. It was certainly worth using up our Go Pass for. So if you're heading to Chicago, make sure you go check it out. There was heaps of famous artists. Some of my favorites were there, including Dali, Kedinsky, and Warhol. There was a big Warhol exhibit. We had to pay extra for it and we're like stingy bastards, so we didn't end up doing that. We got to take a little sneak peek through the doors in there anyway. And there were a few other pieces that weren't inside the special exhibit that we got to see. Just having a little apple in Millennium Park before we head down to our new hotel and back to the pier. So I'll catch up with you guys then. Going up. Good morning everyone and welcome to our official last day in Chicago. We spent the last two and a smidge days here, which I think We've used pretty wisely in the sense that we've really got out and explored the city because I think this is one of the places that we spend the least amount of time with the exception of some of the spots on our tour. But this morning we are officially starting our tour and leaving this fair city behind us. So it's time to do the raiding. Now I know Lily has been quite a fan of Chicago. So Lil, what would you rate? your Chicago experience. I really liked it. I think that it is just as good as San Fran. So I rated San Fran 4.5. Mm -hmm. So I guess I've got a mirror that here. Okay, so you're giving Chicago four and a half. Mm -hmm. You know what, I originally was going to give it four stars, but I think Lily's convinced me and just being out and about and hearing the stories of other people and doing things has convinced me as well and I'm going to give it four and a half stars as well and I think we've got the same reasons for that in the sense that it's easy to get around, the people here are nice, the food here is good, uh, it's really clean city. Um, I don't know like if this is weird to make the list but there is little to no homelessness here um, which I suppose is good for the city in general but then it's also good for tourism um, and things like that as well. Uh, I guess the only downfall will be that it's cold and there's not as many sort of touristy attractions. I did say previously I'm pretty sure that um, things sort of close in the winter time like different tourist attractions close in the winter time which doesn't make any sense to me because I feel like people would still come up here in winter to get that winter experience so that was I think that was the only annoying thing like either not everything being open or not everything being sort of available on the same rate or scale as what it would be in the summertime what would you add to that did you say that it was really clean yep I said that uh -huh. Um, like, San Fran had more things to see, but I just think that Chicago, I don't know, it was just like a nicer, wasn't as busy, yes. nicer vibes. Yes, Definitely the crowds was a big thing, particularly after San Fran and the hecticness of mm -hmm. Vegas. There were so many crowds in Vegas. So it was just nice to be able to easily get about here without so many hordes of people. So, Chicago... Four and a half out of five stars, definitely worth it if you're coming over here, maybe try and get over here in summer so that it's not so freezing, although you'll probably be facing more crowds. But um, if you don't mind the cold, come over in winter and enjoy all that this beautiful city has to offer. All right, I'm gonna peace out for now because we've got to go get ready to go down and get on our tour. But make sure you stick around for more videos because we're going to Canada soon. And there's New York at the end of the trip. So hit subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.